Hey guys, how's it going? I'm right now in Goa. We went to a temple called Mugambika. It's in Kollur. And on the way back to Bangalore, we changed the plans. The change the plans led us to Goa. Today, we are out for some sightseeing. So I thought it would be fun to get you guys along with us without wasting much time. Let's dive in. So if I remember, it was back in 2005 when I was in college. I visited Goa for the first time. So now that I'm back, to this exact same place after very long years i thought of starting the journey with some goan delicacies after searching internet for a while we found this fat fish to be one of the best rated restaurants in goa so we headed there and found the restaurant to be very good ambience the food here was also tasty we ordered a goan thali to start with One of the major difficulties I observed during traveling Goa is to finding a parking space. Lucky for us, this restaurant had enough parking space, so we don't had to worry. So after finishing the meal from the fat fish, we decided to head to Agwara Fort. Agwara Fort was built by the Portuguese back in the 17th century. It was built to guard and defend the Portuguese stronghold in Goa against the Maratha and the Dutch invaders. Owing to its location at the confluence of the Arabian Sea and the Mandovi River, it became the most prized fortress for the Portuguese back in the 17th century. Hi, so we just visited the Aguada Fort. So here basically you need to get a pass, scan this QR code which is given over there. It's 20 rupees per head, then you can go inside the fort and it's good for you know photo shoot and all. That's the experience of Aguada Fort. So by evening we decided to head to the beach. So we went to the Baga Beach. The very famous Tito line is close to the Baga Beach. If you want to have the best nightlife in Goa, this is the right place to be. After having some fun time at the beach and enjoying all the nightlife in Goa, we decided to visit the Mollam area the very next day. Our next destination was Kadamba Sri Mahadeva Temple. The thing which excited us to visit this temple was its location. It is located inside the Bhagwan Mahavir Sanctuary and the Mollam National Park. The temple was built in the Kadamba style from basalt, carried across the mountains from the Deccan Plateau and carved by the craftsmen. It is considered to be the only specimen of Kadamba architecture in basalt stone preserved and available in Goa. The temple survived untouched due to its remote location and in a clearing deep in the forest at the foot of the Western Ghats, which is surrounding the site. After having an amazing experience visiting the Kadamba Mahavir Temple, our next destination was Old Church.
After a hectic day of travel, we unwind ourselves in one of the best cafes we have ever visited, the Black Sheep Bristol. So if you are in Goa, this place is a must try. After visiting different locations in Goa for the past few days, we ended our beach visit with the one of the famous Anjuna Beach. Goa has given us one of the memorable vacations this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and as always, see you guys on the next one. Peace.